you must have noticed that plants show well coordinated and controlled movements in spite of the fact that they do not have nerves or muscles Movements or changes in position are an important characteristic of living beings. They may be due to the growth or changes made in the internal body components with respect to one another. But movements are not haphazard or secluded. They are highly controlled and coordinated. Control is the power to restrain and regulation by which something can be started, slowed down, expedited or stopped. Coordination is an orderly or harmonious working of different but interrelated parts so as to perform one or more activities very smoothly. There are two modes of control and coordination in living beings, chemical and nervous. Animals have a nervous system and a chemical system. Plants do not have a nervous system. They use the chemical system. The plants coordinate their behavior against environmental changes by using hormones. The hormones in plants called phytohormones coordinate their behavior by affecting the growth of a plant. The growth movement can be directional as in tropism and non-directional as in nasties. And the effect on growth of the plant can result in the movement of a part of the plant like shoot or root etc. The plants respond to various stimuli very slowly by growing due to the absence of nervous system. The various types of plant hormones are auxins. They are the plant hormones which promote cell enlargement and differentiation in plants. Auxins also promote fruit growth. Gibberellins are plant hormones which promote cell enlargement and differentiation in the presence of auxins. Gibberellins help in breaking the dormancy in seeds and buds. They also promote growth in fruits. Cytokinins They are the plant hormones which promote cell division in plants. Cytokinins also help in breaking the dormancy of seeds and buds. They delay the aging in leaves. Cytokinins promote the opening of stomata. They also promote fruit growth. Abscisic acid, it's a plant hormone which functions mainly as a growth inhibitor. Abscisic acid promotes the dormancy in seeds and buds. This is the opposite of breaking of dormancy. It also promotes the closing of stomata. Abscisic acid promotes the wilting and falling of leaves. It also causes the detachment of flowers and fruits from the plants. Functions of plant hormones It helps in the germination of seeds. It also promotes growth of root, stem and leaves. It helps in the movement of stomata, flowering of plants and ripening of fruits. It also helps in phototropism, geotropism chemotropism, hydrotropism, thigmotropism, and nastic movements. Two types of movements are seen in plants. Tropic movements, they are directional growth movement in response to an external stimulus. They help the plants to survive. And nastic movements, they are non-directional movements of growth that are determined by the structure of the responding organ 
irrespective of the direction of stimulus. Phototropism It is directional growth movement of curvature which occurs in response to unidirectional exposure to light. Phototropic movement is generally caused by increased auxin on the dark side and lesser auxin on the illuminated side. It causes more growth on the dark side of stem, causing it to bend towards the source of light. Shoot shows positive phototropism as they move towards light and roots show negative phototropism as they move away from light. Geotropism The movement of a plant part in response to gravity is called geotropism. Root shows positive geotropism, shoot shows negative geotropism. Chemotropism Movement of a plant part in response to chemical stimulus is called chemotropism. Here, the pollen tube grows towards the sugary substance, which is a chemical, secreted by the ripe stigma of carpal in the flower. Hydrotropism The movement of a plant part in response to water is called hydrotropism. Root shows positive hydrotropism, shoot shows negative hydrotropism. Thigmotropism The directional growth movement of a plant part in response to the touch of an object is called thigmotropism. Tendrils are positively thigmotropic. Thigmonasty the non-directional movement of a plant part in response to the touch of an object is called thigmonasty. Photodasty The non-directional movement of a plant part, usually petals of flowers, in response to light is called photonasty. Students you can also check out other science lessons through the links given on the screen.